What's up, everybody? What's up? I was about to leave, but you guys are making me upset with this, uh, with this, uh, Tommy Hearns, Tommy Hearns versus Floyd Mayweather at their prime. <sighs> Floyd Mayweather had his first pro fight at 131 pounds. He is not a natural welterweight. And I keep telling you, it is very, very rare that a boxer moves up in weight class and he takes his punching power with him. One of the only fighters that I know that moved up in weight class and took his punching power with him was Tommy Hearns. He's, and, and how tall is Tommy Hearns? Tommy Hearns is what, like six foot? I think he's like six one, six, six one even, right? I'm not sure. I got to look it up. But like I always say, when boxers move up in weight class, they generally do not take their punch and power with them. And uh, like, like when Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather for, fought, Shane Mosley stung uh, Floyd Mayweather, had him stung twice. They both came up from smaller weight classes. Shane Mosley came up from 135. Floyd came up from 130, 130, 135, 140, 147, and 154, like that. They both came up from smaller weight classes. Floyd Mayweather and De La Hoya came up from smaller weight classes. Floyd Mayweather and, and M Miguel Cotto both came up from smaller weight classes. But, so the punching power stays equal. But it's not like Floyd Mayweather moving up from 140 to 147 and fighting a natural 147. Tommy Hearns was a natural 147. Tommy Hearns had a 147 punch. Tommy Hearns was knocking out welterweights. Knocking them out. How many welterweights have Floyd Mayweather knocked out? And if you don't hurt a guy, he's not going to respect you. Boxing is a hurt sport. The object is to ball your fist up and hurt the man. And if you're not going to hurt him, he's going to keep coming. So if Floyd Mayweather can't hurt Tommy Hearns, he's going to keep coming. You got to have, you got to make the man respect your punch. And Floyd does not have a 147 punch. He outboxed these guys. Well, how many knockouts has he had at 147? He can box, yeah, he can box. But uh, you gotta make, you, some boxes you just can't box. Some boxes you gotta fight. You gotta bite down on your mouthpiece and fight. And I don't see Floyd Mayweather, I don't see Floyd Mayweather outboxing Tommy Hearns. Look at the trouble he gave Sugar Ray in it. <laughs> up, until, up until what was the, he stopped him in the 11th round, I think it was, like the 11th or 12th round. The first fight they had between Sugar Ray Lennon and uh, Sugar Ray Lennon and Tommy Hearns. Like I said, when boxers move up in weight class, they generally do not take their punch and power with them. Very few fighters, very few fighters moved up in weight class and took their punch and power with them. When Tommy Hearns moved up 160, he got stopped by Iron Man Barkley and he got stopped by Marvin Hagler. If you don't hurt them guys, they're going to keep coming. So if you ask me, a fight between Floyd Mayweather and Tommy Hearns. I ain't going to say he's going to knock him out, but I don't even, I don't know. I can't say. But I know, I know Tommy Hearns will win. It, it's not going to go to this. It, it's not going to be, he will win by a unanimous decision at that. I think he would have been, he would have been most of the round. Tommy Hearns was a decent boxer. He wasn't just a hit, man. He was a good boxer. And I don't think Floyd Mayweather would beat him. That's my take on it. All I need is